Okay, so um, probably bring that a little bit more to the right. Yeah, and just boy. So what you're looking at is uh, this is uh, Men Keparaj and Hutimus is in battle. But what's most important about this scene is I want people to understand. We talked a little bit about learning about the Badunech. Okay? Right, yes. But yes. The most important thing I want people to know is the Badunetra is the skin of Kemet. Okay. The skin, mm -hmm. meaning that it is the biggest and the largest organ of the body is the skin. Right. right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same way as the Badunetra. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Okay. The word Madhumetra actually means, right, life or words of existence. Means okay. Things that exist. Okay. So it's what we do, right, as existence. We don't, right, we don't, if it's not existing, it's not written. Meaning that what they did was really all about behavior. Mm -hmm. It describes all about who we are, how we speak, how we act, and how we behave. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's the skin of Kemet. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is two things is that number one, he has his chariot. Yes. And the chariot mm -hmm. has Montu in there. In the chariot. Montu. Yeah, that's correct. Montu is, is helping him to pull his bow and helping him to direct the arrow to where it needs to go. Wow. Okay. So I'm seeing Montu behind him. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Help him right to pull that bow. Okay. Now, this is one thing that I want to really talk about because are you familiar with the story about um, when Apollo, right, shoots Achilles in the heel with the arrow? It's not it by, right? Mm -hmm. arrow, when Ares pulls that bow? Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Right? And yes. Apollo guides the arrow Yes, the yes, Achilles. yes, yes. Okay, what is it? Is, what are you looking at? Right yeah, now? you see that right there. He's guiding the you arrow. Yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see that. I see okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's and it's showing you and it's giving a description of who he is and what he is doing from this very point. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, on the right, you're actually looking at it and it's saying Ra Men Kepper right here. Ra Men Kepper, which means Ra is established. Why is established? Why is established? One who is manifested. Okay. In the Medunech. Mm -hmm. Meaning that I am Jehuti. Yes. Right? The son of Ra, one who is established and one who is manifested for war. Mm -hmm. That's what that's saying. Okay. So you in the Medunech on the right. Yeah. Neckback is flying over here with the shin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. If you look up at the top here in that left okay, yeah. corner right there, so, yeah, that's that's uh, a yeah. nephet, the vulture. Yes. Yes. And so, and the shin in like right on the wing. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, so yeah, neckbed is saying, "I am moot. I will nurture you. Yes. Give you energy. Yes. Because the vulture represented mothering nature. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes. I will right. Give yes. You, I will fly over you. Yes." I will give you energy. I will give you vitality to go to war with Montu or Manintu. Yes. Okay, and he's in there right now helping him to stretch his bow. Give him strength. Give him vitality. Give him energy. See, this is what is done. And also, Shehuti means one of articulate thought, articulate speech, and articulate action. Yes. That's Jehuti. Yes. And that's what you that's what you're looking at right now. Okay? Yeah, okay. And on the bottom is showing that this person is manifested and it shows you these three lines at the bottom means the third. Up under the beetle. Okay, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's showing you and so so all of these is telling you the giver of life of one who is protecting the giver of life one who is nurtured. Yeah. Meaning the unk. Yeah. See that? Uh -huh. All these mental nature words is giving you what it means existence. Yes. Words of action. Things are actually happening. So it's talking about war and what he's doing in war. Okay. 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 
So that's why I mentioned about earlier about the metro being the skin of Kemet. Yes. Okay, the very organ. Okay, and all you see all the descriptions that's written. Yes. Okay, and it's showing one through taking care of is it's showing you that I am with you. Yes. I am your vitality. I am your strength. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hang on one sec. I want to zoom in on this real quick. So I just want to zoom in on that upper corner okay. here. So, this is what you're talking so, about right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you're looking at. Yeah. So it's talking to you mm -hmm. about the hip, neb, ka, neb, means one who is given, right? Mm -hmm. Shibuti. Mm -hmm. Articulate thought, articulate street of Rames, the one who is the king or leader of, of Emmet. Yes. So down here at the bottom. Okay. That's what you're looking at. Okay. When oh, okay, okay, side, okay. Because right here, this bird here is is Jehudi. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. If you guys can see that in this circular kind of or obelisk kind of right. shape, right form, right there. So that, right. So his name Shehuti is written here in the Shin. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. So remember, I, I said earlier mm -hmm. that there is a royal name. A yes. name and there's a okay, so right. So yes. off to the left is actually his actual name, which is off to the left. Mm -hmm. Here, Ra Min Kepper. Ra Min Kepper is on the right. Okay. So this term Ra of the circle, and then that little box with those little lines is Min. M N. Okay. And then Kepper. Yeah, you talk about in the sh in the shin right here, the shin in front of his face. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so they, right. So the shin is actually protected. So uh, these things mean this one and the your royal name and your throne name is protected. Yes. By the shin. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's explaining about who this person is. Yeah. Who this person is, what they're actually doing. Mm -hmm. He's doing something. Yes. I am established one, meaning I am the leader, the Nasubiti. Yes. Okay, that's what that's referring to, and it's explaining all of that in the Metu Nature. It's explaining how he is and what he's doing from either his world name, his throne name, all of these things are action, like verbs, mm -hmm. okay, pronouns. We got these names, but I just want to share with you that the whole entire name is not written like we would write them. Okay. We, are, we like acronyms. Right. Acronym words. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so so men would be M-N. Men. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be not, not like an M-I-N. There was no I's there. It's men. Right. Ra. Okay, so these are men, ra, kept. Okay, men, ra, kept. See this? And then we give you these names. Yeah. So you have to be able to understand them and how they're read. Okay, that's exactly how it is. How it is written, because again, you're looking at symbols. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're looking at characters. Yes, characters like this is what this means. So this is your character. Right, right, right. So are right. you a good person? Uh -huh. This is your character. Yeah, yeah. Articulate thought, articulate speech, articulate action. Tahuti. Yes. Okay, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, right there. I, I love that part. Yeah, that that's it right there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm breaking down and explaining some of the pieces here only because this is talking to you about what this person, as I said earlier, what they are doing. Yes. He's doing something. Uh -huh. Right. So so remember now, this is this is something that is lived out. So again, when you're talking about the bedroom metric, it's the way of life. Yes. And for them, it should be that. So really quickly before we move on, there's four different things that we really need to know. Okay. I talk about this as far as teaching. Mm -hmm. The first thing we need to know about language, we need to understand our classical language. Okay? Mm -hmm. Number one, our cultural language, number two. Right. Our societal language, number three. Right. And a connecting language, number four. Okay. Okay? We don't. If we don't have those down, then we're already having problems with communication. Right. Because, okay? Because that's most important. The metric is a classical language. 
Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But your cultural language is where you're from. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And yeah. Where you're from. Okay. Okay. Your third language is your societal language, which means you speak English. Right. Okay. And a connecting language is those who are next to you. Yes. Okay. So this is four of the major things that people really should know that your four food groups. Yeah. Four food groups. Mm -hmm. It would be the exact same thing for your language. Okay. That's beautifully said. That's beautifully said. Okay. Do you want to go back to the larger image? Uh, we go to the other one next. I think there's one more I want to 